Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over the Aimpoint ACL optic that you see right here. This is Aimpoint's new budget red dot. Um, it takes away some of the features that some of the other models have, but still gives you a lot of optic for the money. So um, most notably, whenever I post a picture of this, folks are always saying, well, why'd you buy that over a Pro? Or how does it compare to the Pro? Or how does it compare to the M4, Comp M4, all that stuff. Today we're gonna focus on comparing it with the Aimpoint Pro. Uh, reason I do that is, Typically, I don't do comparison type reviews, but the reality is everyone asks that every time I post it. So we're going to do a little bit of a comparison to, as well as talk about some of the features this optic has coming up next. Going to try to detail all the important differences at least as i see them anyway between the two optics at the end though i will roll in a chart uh, that compares the specs in detail so if you guys are looking for the detailed numbers and all that stuff just stay tuned to the end and those will all be there for you uh, first off the acl here offers a battery life of 10,000 hours which is a little over a year while the pro has an estimated battery life of 30,000 hours now that's based on a uh, brightness setting on seven so uh, you lose some battery life with it for sure. However, the ACO there is still going to give you much better battery life than just about any red dots out there uh, currently on the market. There's a couple that will compete with it, but very few will. So uh, the ACO is also not night vision compatible, while the Pro is. Uh, ACO comes with this uh, mount here, which you can see is Picatinny compatible. Um, it will give you a uh, perfect co-witness or true co-witness rather than a lower one-third co-witness uh, like some folks like but obviously both of these have 30 millimeter tubes uh, so if you want to you know put them on any different aftermarket uh, mounting option you absolutely can of course throughout the review you guys have seen the ACL mounted up here on the uh, American defense mount this is a quick detach 30 millimeter mount works awesome I really really like these they're super lightweight and uh, never had a problem with any of them so but that will work on both of these it'll also work with like the RS mount that you guys saw throughout this which works with AKs um, so a lot of options out there so that's a good feature for both of them but the mount here is a little bit uh, lighter on the ACO than it is here on the Pro. Some folks are going to think that's a bonus, some folks won't. It just is what it is. This one has an auto tensioning um, mount there, which you can just hand screw down. And of course, with this one, it has just a regular nut that you have to tighten down with some sort of tool. Another difference is that the Pro here is fully submersible down to 45 meters, where the ACO is rated as fully waterproof. Of course, as you'd expect, it's fully nitrogen purged, has all the O-rings where it needs it to seal it off, battery compartments, O-ring sealed, all that stuff. So no issues there at all. Um, it's just not rated to be submersible. Now, most folks, of course, that's not really going to be a big deal because most of you guys aren't uh, scuba diving with your rifles. Um, the ACU, ACO here doesn't have the flip covers, as you see, where the aim point does come included with flip covers. So that's the difference there and of course the biggest difference that a lot of folks are going to be concerned with is going to be the cost uh, most places street price anyway you can find these in the ACOs in the $390 ish range um, whereas the pros will generally be in the 340 to 350 range so somewhere between 50 to 60 dollars in terms of price difference at least on the street as of today here in America, most folks that buy this optic are going to be putting it on America's favorite rifle, which is the AR-15. Now, uh, AR-15 folks are notorious for being very weight sensitive, and uh, we'll compare the two. There's the Aimpoint Pro with the supplied mount, flip covers, and battery. You can see it's coming in right at 12.7 ounces, whereas our ACO is going to be lighter. Um, that's, again, with batteries and factory mounts. So over 2.5 or about 2.5 ounces lighter, which is significant for a lot of people. Function of the optic is pretty simple overall. With the dot pointed straight up, you're in the off position. Uh, it does take a three volt battery, which is pretty common out there. We'll roll on a picture of it there for you guys. Um, but it does have 10 different settings. 
so you can adjust it and be as bright as you want it to be. Um, that is one advantage over the Pro for folks who aren't using night vision is that it does have 10 settings versus the uh, Pro, which has a little bit less because it's also including night vision settings. So caps here screw right on and they do stay on there via this little rubber uh, cap so you're not going to lose them which I do like. It does have half MOA clicks for both windage and elevation. Good thing there. And when you want to switch your battery out, which I suppose that the battery life's a little over one year, I figure if you just swap it out every Christmas or every birthday or whatever like that, you should be just fine. But you'll see there that is the battery compartment and it is O-ring sealed uh, to prevent any moisture like we talked about earlier from getting in there. And that's really it. It's a very simple optic, not a lot of controls, not a lot of things to go wrong with it. I've got just a couple other things I want to touch on here before we close it out. Uh, first is going to be how crisp is the dot, what's the sight picture look like, and all that stuff. Um, it is a 2 MOA dot, so that's going to be perfect for most things that folks are using a red dot for. Um, 2 MOA is going to cover roughly 2 inches at 100 yards on your target, so pretty fine dot, and you can dial it in if you want to uh, get some good accuracy out of it, no doubt about that. Um, the clarity of it is something people always ask about, so um, if you're looking at it, you know, with normal just vision mounted up on your rifle, it's going to appear to be very clear to you no doubt about it it's a good clean dot that you expect from main point that said if you run a magnifier on it you will notice something um, this is something that's present on the uh, aimpoint pro compound bores aimpoint t1s all of their optics which is a little bit of a sort of a slash on the dot when you really magnify it not really a huge deal, again, because you're not going to see it 90% of the time, and it's very consistent across the board. So I'm going to roll in a picture right now of the uh, Aimpoint um, ACL here, and you can see what that looks like there when it's magnified in. I'm going to roll in a picture right now of the Aimpoint Pro, and you guys can see what that looks like when it's uh, dialed in. You can see, actually, the glass itself looks a little bit clearer on the ACO, at least in my two examples, but the dot looks exactly the same. So it's exactly the same. Both are two MOA models, um, so no difference there in terms of that. Um, in terms of battery life, we've had the ACO in for about four months now, and uh, it's been set on either settings seven or eight, depending on where we're at, light conditions and all that stuff. The entire time, it's never been turned off, and uh, so far, it's obviously going strong, and that perfectly within specs as to what they quote, and it should have a good bit more life in it. So uh, in that terms of that, we haven't tested it the full length, but we've tested a good bit and the battery life seems to be right on point. So uh, last thing is, you know, why would you want this over a Pro? Well, first off, I recommend the Pro. I recommend it all the time. It's an excellent optic, not taking anything away from it. But of course, this one here is going to be, you know, about one eighth less the price of a Pro. And for a lot of people, um, getting up to the point where you're buying an Aimpoint Pro to put on your rifle, that's stretching your budget as it is. A lot of people are always saying, I can't, I just can't spend $400 on an optic. I get that. You know, people have budgets. This is real world. I totally get it. Nothing wrong with that. So to be able to reduce that cost by roughly one eighth, um, that's not insignificant to a lot of people, and this is definitely still an optic I would trust on my home defense rifle or anything, you know, going into a bad situation. Um, by all means, I would definitely trust it in that scenario. Like we said, just change out the battery once a year, and you should just, you should be just fine, I should say. So, um, maybe you can put that money towards a different mount if you guys don't like the mount, but the mount that it comes with is perfectly fine and has worked fine when we used it here on the channel in our testing. So that's about it, guys. I think we covered uh, most of it. If you guys have any other questions that we didn't get into, by all means, you can post below in the comments section. Those detailed spec comparisons are coming up next. To, uh, enough rambling by me. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.